good. All right, we're going to start with your name and where you're from. My name is Katie Zwiebelhofer, and I'm from Racine, Wisconsin. Love that. Now you got to tell me that name. Where is where is what is the origin of that? It's very German. I'm positive, it's all German all the time, every day. <laughs> Do you have to spell it for everybody? Yeah, because when I say it, they're like, uh, wait, what did you say? So I have to spell it out, and they're like, wait, how do you say that? So they always ask me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tell me, how many years have you been bowling? I've been bowling since I was a little girl, since I was about three. So I pretty much lived in a bowling alley every chance I get, going on the weekends, after school. I practice in college now, so pretty much my whole life. What got you interested in bowling? Um, my dad, ever since, he he was enjoying it as he was a kid. He grew up into adulthood and always did it, so he got me into it, too, and I just fell in love with the game. What is it you enjoy most about bowling? I love the competitive edge you get whenever I step out on the lanes. It doesn't matter if I'm practicing or throwing the last shot for my team and it, the, lines on the, or the game's on the line. Just that competitive edge keeps me going. I feed off of it, so that's what I love the most about it. That's so cool. Tell me, what is your most memorable moment? I'd say this year, actually, I made it to the Intercollegiate Singles Championships. I qualified in the top four as the number two seed, and I made it on national television, competing against a Team USA member, Elise Bolton. Unfortunately, I lost, but it was such a great experience. I can't wait to do it again next year. So you've got several years of bowling under your belt. What do you see yourself doing five years from now? Five years from now. Well, after I graduate college and finish my last two years of collegiate bowling, I'll probably bowl some regional, some women's tournaments, hopefully get in the U.S. Open and see how I compete there. So hopefully win, make a name for myself. That's my goal. Now, this, um, whew, now I'm starting to get tongue-tied. This junior gold, how many have you attended? Uh, this is actually my second one. Um, I didn't feel like I was prepared all the other ones, so I went to Vegas last year as my first one. Didn't do too well. But I came back to Indy and I've been doing all right. I'm in the top so far, so we'll see what happens. How do you mentally prepare for an event like this? Well, just practice, practice, practice. You've got to make sure you're on your game, practice on all sports shots. Just mentally prepare yourself that every shot isn't the end of the world. You can always come back. Anything can happen. And just never give up is my main motto because you never know that one pin could cost you or could make you. What would you tell other girls that are thinking about getting into bowling or just bowling in general? That you should definitely get involved. It's a great sport. You meet so many friends. It keeps you on the lanes. It keeps you exercise, get something to do. But I definitely would recommend it. I love it. It's fun. <laughs> awesome. Well, Katie, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you.